Have you ever felt a longing so deep that it consumed your every thought? A desire so intense that no earthly thing could satisfy? What if this longing wasn't just a part of you, but the very essence of who you are? This is part two of Rumi's Song of the Reed series, where every whisper of the reed tells a story of separation, of love, of a fire that burns unseen. But what if I told you that this is only the surface? That behind these words lies a hidden message, a path that only the brave dare to follow. A secret that challenges everything we think we know about love, freedom, and human soul. آتش است این بانگ نادو نیست با هر که این آتش ندارد نیست با Today we deep deeper into the reed song. What does it mean to be truly free? To break the chains that binds our souls. Join us as we uncover the secrets that Rumi has hidden in plain sight. Are you ready to discover the truth? Today we continue our journey through one of Rumi's most evocative poems. A poem that speaks not just to the mind, but to the very heart of the human experience. Rumi begins with the powerful declaration. The song of the reed is fire. It's not just sound or words. It's an all-consuming flame. But what does this mean? Imagine the reed. Once part of the reed bed, now cut and hollowed, its song a lament for a separation of fields. This is not just any sound. This is the cry of a soul yearning for reunion with its source. Rumi tells us, Har ke in atash nadarad nist baad. Those who lack this fire are not truly alive. For them, life is but a pale shadow, devoid of meaning. آتش عشق است کندر می فوتا. The reed song is driven by a fire of love. It's not just sorrow that makes it seem, but love itself. This is not the romantic love we are accustomed to. It's a divine love, a force that propels everything in the universe towards its higher state. It is the very essence of existence. We see this fire everywhere. It is the force that, as Rumi puts it, makes the wine boil in the jar, the same passion that derives the lover into madness. The boiling of the wine is the boiling of love. Everything moves, everything changes because of this love. Some define love as intense desire, some as divine madness, some a divine attribute. But how does Rumi define it? Interestingly, he doesn't. Rumi speaks of not what love is, but what it does, of its effect, of its power of transformation. Next, Rumi brings us to the heart of the matter. نی حریف هر که از یاری برید پرده هایش پرده های ما درید The reed is the companion of those who have detached from worldly attachments It's a symbol for those who are on the spiritual path those who have turned away from the mundane and are seeking something higher Its music is not just the sound it's a purification a cleansing of the soul And then Rumi challenges us with a question. Have you seen a poison and its antidote like the reed? It's both at once, a paradox. Its song is a poison, painful, unsettling, when it laments of separation. But the same reed is the sweetest antidote, something ecstatic, when it is singing of reunion. Nei hadith rah porkhun mi konad. Qisse hay ishq majnun mi konad. The reed speaks of a path full of blood, full of danger, 
a path of divine love, that is not easy. It requires sacrifice. It requires you detaching yourself from all the worldly trivialities. It's the path of Majnun, an iconic lover who has lost everything in the pursuit of love. And here Rumi reveals the true nature of love. It cannot be captured by words, but it can be narrated with music. So what is the song of the reed? It is the story of a soul that longs for the divine, a heart that has been cut from the source and now seeks reunion. It is the fire that burns within, the fire that propels us, that derives us towards our ultimate truth. This is the essence of Rumi's message. Love is not just a feeling, it is the fire of existence itself. I invite you to reflect on this fire within you. What is it calling you towards? How does it manifest in your life? And most importantly, are you listening to its song? Rumi's words are like a labyrinth. Each turn reveals something new, something deeper. Why does he urge us to break from the chains of the world? And what secret is hidden within the reed's song that only the most perceptive can hear? In the next episode, we will dive further into the depth of Rumi's wisdom. How does one become truly free? And what does it mean to live a life unbound by material desires? The answers are closer than you think, but only if you dare to listen. Stay tuned and join us next time as we examine the soul-stirring poetry of Rumi. Until then, ponder this. What is it that binds you? And are you ready to break free? آتش است این بانگ نایو نیست با هر که این آتش ندارد نیست با آتش عشق است کن در نی فتاد جوشش عشق است کن در می فتاد نی حریف هر که از یاری بری پرده هایش پرده های ما داری همچون نی زهری و تریاقی کدی همچون نی دمساز و مشتاقی کدی نی حدیث راه پرخون می کند قصه های عشق مجنون می کند